Hey everyone, this is a new stationery again, and today's review is gonna be on the Edding Avant 1792 ballpoint pen. Edding, uh, for those who are not very familiar with the brand, is a German brand uh, who used to produce uh, pens and pencils in the past. They currently basically base their lineup on markers and all kinds of markers, permanent um, art markers. Uh, paint markers, uh, special needs markers, so several wide range of markers but they do still produce some rollerball and fine liner pens as well and what I'm gonna do a review is one of their long lost uh, ballpoint pens from sometime in the late 80s early 90s so let's take a look at back when Edding made uh, pens they do currently make some of the best erasers, may I point out, and if you have seen my other reviews, you'll see a review on a uh, de-edding eraser, which is really one of the best and most premium erasers I've ever used and seen. So let's take a look. This pen, if we take a look at the clip, this is all plastic body, and if we take a look on the front, you'll see the distinctive shape of adding a pocket clip. The same design you will see on their current fine liner pens, uh, you mostly use for technical drawing or design. So you can see the design cues uh, also for this ballpoint. This used to be probably a budget ballpoint. Uh, you may not be able to see this with the light, but inside the clip over here uh, it says Germany. And then we have in blue printed Avant over here adding 1792 I don't know if you can see that adding Avant 1792 and we see the blue clicker which hints that this is a blue ink pen which it is we have a rigid plastic area here and the tip we change the refill by twisting here in the middle mid section um, it's a little stuck there we go and this uses basically the universal Parker type refill except that this one is Edding back when they used to make refills it says Edding 735 Super Refill for documents so it's document proof and made in Germany it's quite an old pen that I found online uh, it's a new never used pen but the refill still works pretty good so that tells of the good quality the clicker is silent if I hit, let me click on it you don't hear anything but you just see very the clean tip pointing out I like this pen and the reason I bought this pen is because it has a very sober very um, German feel to it and design very it kind of evokes Lamy designs um, I like this pen because it resembles greatly the famous Lamy Unique pen which I used to possess sometime before so that's why I like this one because it looks a lot like the Unique and probably this pen was a way much more cheaper and refillable uh, version than the Lamy's Unique which is a more expensive and a very hard to find model even nowadays and if we take a look at the design again the clip is tending towards one side as you can see I don't know if you can appreciate this but the clip tends more to one side and as part of the design you see like this roll of uh, like a band where here it begins it has like a crooked start and then it goes all the way and it finishes it with the clip so it's an interesting subtle uh, style to it and basically it's a fully cylindrical barrel except for the ridges here that give us some gripping and fairly comfort for writing so let's take a look at it okay let me just click it on there we go this is the adding adding this is the adding Avant Avant 1792 ballpoint which is made in Germany 
and it uses this vintage adding 735 super refill or what I will call a Parker type refill it writes in true blue not purplish so this is the original like back in the 80s and early 90s when it was still very blue the ink and not too purpley as now writes fairly comfortable like like an average ballpoint nothing too special about it but still good for writing fair comfort and German reliability as one would expect from a German made product I really love the design again it reminds me a lot of Lamy it's a shame that Edding doesn't make any pens anymore uh, they just make disposable fine liners and roller balls mostly they stop making mechanical pencils and ballpoints altogether so it's a shame they still do as I said some really great plastic erasers which are some of the best quality so I, I recommend you buying their erasers but if you happen to find this pen which sometimes and rarely comes around in places like German eBay well buy it, it's a really nice uh, discreet pen subtle well made um, probably it was a budget pen back in its day but it's still very refillable it's a silent clicker which is something really advanced even for that era I am guessing this pen is again sometime around the late 80s and early 90s so yes I will recommend this pen if you like this review again uh, give a like and subscribe for more stationary reviews of interesting items I have and again stay tuned for more stationary reviews and thanks again for watching see you next time bye bye